Hi all. In this video, we'll look at how we can use the users and groups features of Blackboard to make virtual classrooms or Blackboard Collaborate Ultra rooms for specific groups. Let's see what I mean. So if I scroll down on my menu, there's a users and group place uh, on the menu. And I'm going to click into groups. And it's worth mentioning, in my case, it says organization management. If this is a course you're looking at, you'll see course management. But otherwise, we can still go to users and groups, click it to expand, and go into groups. I get to create some groups. I could do a single group or set of groups, so multiple groups. I get to decide if I want to have them enroll themselves, if I'm going to do random distribution of students, or if I'm going to manually assign them. In my case, I'm just going to do a random enroll. I figure that's probably pretty common. And I'll just call this example for fun. I could put a description of the group if I want. I want to decide if it's going to be visible to students. Obviously, if I want them using the virtual classroom tool, they're going to need to be able to see it. So I want to make sure it is visible. I get to choose what tools I want available. And of course, Blackboard Collaborate Ultra is one of them. If I want to make it available, I leave it checked. And I can also allow them to actually make their own recordings if I want. So maybe that's be a feature I want. Maybe I want them to do a presentation in there. Maybe I want them to be able to record any sessions they have. Again, that's up to you. And of course, I could remove the other tools if I didn't think they needed it. Maybe I want to leave some, and you decide for your own purposes what your students are going to have. And then I would simply decide if I want to, or how I want to distribute my students. Do I want to have a certain number of students per group? Do I want to have a certain number of groups? Well, maybe I just want two groups in this case. And then I click Submit. Oops, I have to actually click number of groups for it to work. Didn't actually hit the radio button, apparently. Great, so now I've got my two groups. And then the student, they would actually see this on their menu. So go and order my student preview. You can see they actually will see their groups listed at the bottom of the menu here. They can click into example one, and it shows them all the things they actually have access to within that group, including collaborate. So if they want, they could simply click in to collaborate. And then if they were happy, they could join the room and meet with their other group members. Now, of course, as the instructor or as a TA in the room or the course site, you still have access if you want to go in. The other students won't, but you can still go into that group. What you do is go to the users and groups, groups area, and then click into the group you actually want to join. It'll list all the tools available and there is collaborate, which I can then also go in and join. So if I need to, I could join the same session as the students. Anyways, hopefully that helps.